All right. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Saurabh, and we have with us a great rank holder for this uh, November INICT exam, rank 15, Dr. Shivangi Sinha. And she was a great rank holder in uh, NEET exam as well, 1601, right, Shivangi? Uh, yes, sir. That's right. So many congratulations uh, to you and your family. Now, the purpose of this is uh, everyone to know about you and your journey. So I will give the mic to you, and uh, you should tell everything about you, your city, your UG. When you started your preparation, what did you join? What materials okay. you used? What about the MCQs? Then I'll come in between also, but just start introducing yourself. Okay, so, so, so I'm Shivangi. So I've done my undergrad from uh, Institute of Medical Sciences, Banaras Hindu University. Um, and uh, I started preparing for NEET PG. Like uh, I, I was reading the, the standard textbooks during uh, my MBBS all the five years. And uh, I'd started making notes since third year, uh, second year, end of second year and third year. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I was preparing dedicatedly for uh, NEET PG and I, I said from internship, uh, like after my final prof got over. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, then so like internship was it's a little hectic in VHU. So I was uh, studying uh, simultaneously with the posting. Like I used to study the subject uh, like. Whatever posting I was doing, I used to study that subject simultaneously. So yeah. part of that got covered up. That's how. So. Well, you started your making notes in the second last uh, end of second year and uh, beginning of the third year. You joined something online, offline? Um, yeah, so I joined an online platform. And uh, actually, when I was in second year, COVID happened. So uh, we got a free year. Uh, so I made notes during my second year and third year. Okay, so you started making your notes, and but the real preparation started when you were doing your uh, internship. Uh, you joined right. some uh, discussion, discussion or something in that. Yes. When did you start oh, doing yes, sir, I, uh, question? Uh, yes, I started with the MCQ and the GTS, and I joined DAMS uh, uh, test and discussion uh, batch, okay. and uh, I also enrolled for the DBT course uh, by the mm -hmm. end of uh, I think November December two thousand twenty three last year. Mm -hmm. And um, so you, I you gave to CBT. Uh, in your internship, before that, you were just uh, making your own, uh, studying your own thing from standard textbooks. Um, Real MCQs yes, you started from uh, internship. Uh, uh, so I was doing few MCQs, but not like very seriously, like for uh, PG sort of like I was like, what whatever I studied, I did their MCQ simultaneously, but not very, you know, like a systematic manner. I just uh, started doing that with internship. So INI, CET, TND, uh, made, uh, you, you did the online thing, right? Uh, yes, sir. So how was your uh, schedule? You make your schedule, own schedule, or you followed the schedule of the TND? I know hectic is so very hectic I'm... intensive in VHU. So it must be difficult. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so actually, uh, I was following my own schedule, but I was giving the uh, tests. Uh, um, um, I mean, uh, with uh, as per the schedule, I gave the test and I saw the discussion videos uh, afterwards, and uh, mm -hmm. I added on to my notes whatever mistake I was making. Right. So, when did you start giving grant tests? So, I started giving grant tests from the beginning of my internship in March 23. So I so began there. If you want to tell everyone, what was your first grant test score? Number of correct questions. Uh, I suppose a uh, one twenty or one thirty, one twenty five, one thirty in that range. And you ended up with the highest score was. So about one seventy, one seventy five. So that is why we all want to know what is your journey from one twenty to one eighty. What what thing you did, so that you jumped from one twenty to one eighty. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think I completed my syllabus, like I completed all the 19 subjects mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. when I started with the uh, GTs, I was, uh, I mean, my final and my third year were fresh, but my first and second year, I mean, it had been quite a long time. So I started with my first and second year because I and I also tends to focus on uh, the clinical, uh, non-clinicals and paraclinical. Correct. So as I started completing some of my subjects, my GT, the number of corrects in the GT started increasing. But right. uh, like, uh, yeah, sir. So how do you, you reviewed your uh, number of you reviewed the entire GTS or only the incorrect ones? So initially, in like the la, uh, like uh, la, last year, I used to review all the questions. Like uh, first, I reviewed all the wrong ones and the ones I skipped, and then I went to the the correct ones again. I saw them once again, 
but uh, like towards the end like in the last one or two months i just uh, started seeing only the wrong the incorrect ones and the skipped ones so uh, as far as i remember you uh, finished your internship and the first exam you gave was may iict correct last year or oh, yes, this year yes, yes this, this year. year and what was your rank this uh, my rank was 1490 1400 in first uh, may exam yes sir yeah and then uh, you didn't plan to choose because neat exam was there of course and neat exam you scored 1601 oh uh, yes sir so you you opted you you thought of uh, counseling is still held up but still you thought of joining of course which branch um uh, so so i'm not like i'm now i'm like uh, not very sure like i'm still discussing with my parents but then i mean i like pediatrics so maybe that but then i'm like still like considering other options as well and now you will get an iniict of course of course with uh, but how did the uh, in in i came it was in your mind because 1600 rank could fetch you of course uh, pediatrics as well i think oh uh, yes sir um actually so i mean i did not do anything extra as you know after neat pg or spc something like that but mm-hmm. i think neat pg i mean like uh, i had my evening shift paper and maybe i got really scared and i did not sleep well the previous night so my performance on the exam day was not that good uh, but i did not do anything very different for ne uh, i nice at november like i did the same thing but yeah. then i gave in a more relaxed manner and i was more peaceful so i is that so, so you started uh, revising your own the things which you did already wahi tum bar bar kar rahi thi and giving your grand test in between the i need exam and i have a special exam kuch kara ya same preparation jo chal raha tha usi ko continue revision re revision kiya so i uh, revised the same thing again like i focus on the first and second year more but i revised the same notes again तो इसमें बीच में सीबीटीज आए थे वो दिया था आई यस आई गिव द आई एन आई सीबीटी द डैम सेट कंडक्टेड आई हैव गिवन दैट वन सीबीटी रैंक रैंक देयर अह सो आई डोंट रिमेंबर एग्जैक्टली आई डोंट रिमेंबर दैट एग्जैक्टली सर बट स्कोर भी याद नहीं अ स्कोर आई थिंक सर आई गॉट लाइक 155 158 Correct. Number then, of correct. Uh, this I think fifteenth rank. I think you must have got one seventy five questions correct. If I'm not wrong. Uh, no, sir. I've got one seventy one correct. One seventy one correct. It's very close. Yeah. Because just I took the interview of forty four. Yeah. Yeah. One sixty one seventy one sixty five to seven seventy is very clustered in this. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. So which which branch are you going to take? Pediatrics. so like i thought about i haven't thought about anything else like after that but then i'm like i have other options also open so i'm like like you know fine like other options are radiology medicine yeah well i can i like well, i'm considering radio maybe derma even medicine like i don't know I'm, like really like i'm still thinking so about that you, you are going to take from ini now right not need uh, yes most most likely a first doctor in your family or uh, your yeah, parents are doctors I know my parents are doctor. My sister is also doctor, sir. All right, based in Varanasi. Uh, based in you are from uh, uh, Jamshedpur. Jamshedpur. So planning. Okay. You yeah, my. Yes, sir. My dad's a surgeon. My dad's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, my father is a surgeon. Yeah. My uh, dad's a surgeon, and my mom's a pediatrician, and my sister is also doing her uh, PG in pediatrics. She's doing her. uh uh from she's doing it from bhu itself like she's doing video beats from bhu fine 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 you you're ended in internship or you're still doing you acha you finished your internship right mm-hmm. in march i finished it this year yeah yes. so my parents yeah. Yeah, please 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 oh. namaste sir i'm uh, many many congratulations i am dr saurav here i teach uh, ophthalmology in uh, nams mubarak ho sir such a great rank in ini <laughs> yeah. and thank you uh, uh, and the dance team for mentoring and guiding uh, and uh, your uh, finer uh, tips and details uh, helped quite a lot uh, in uh, her preparation in boils are to hard work sir examination we every well enough us is just a guidance because it's a hard work which is fetched uh, as such great rank even 1600 rank in neat is not a small thing nowadays and this rank is of course uh, 
This is amazing, Rank. This is amazing. Yes. Am I audible? Uh, audible, Shivangi? Yeah. One thing about her, because then both my daughters, so they prepared for the exam. One thing I observed, especially for the NEET, she was, the uh, preparation was almost similar, but she yeah. was a bit anxious and, you know, uh, over stressing her, herself. So uh, maybe, and also, uh, you know, number of attempts what she was making, she was out of proportion. So negative marking was there, especially in uh, neat uh, examination. So this was, she was very, very, you know, cautious of how many attempts to be made. And once uh, she was not very, you know, convinced about uh, the, the you know, options, uh, so she skipped uh, those answers. So perhaps uh, this planning, uh, uh, um, what are the questions, uh, what are the numbers uh, you will be attempting, uh, was one of the reasons she fared better what she fared uh, in the NEET examination. Yeah, of course. And one more thing, sir. Uh, she has already scored a great rank in NEET exam and the stress was not there. She was more relaxed, I think, in INI. That is, that is more... <laughs> the anxious part was quite less in INI. And that plays a very, very important role in this uh, competitive exams. Yeah, I totally agree with you. So we, we, all the time we ask students to uh, tell other students about the journey. So, sir, you are here. Will you like to tell something to the parents of the students during this tough phase? Because this phase is very tough, uh, the preparation phase. Yeah. 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 Agreed. Because, uh, you know, me and uh, my wife, uh, both uh, been, uh, being uh, been the, the, uh, this profession for last 40 years. Yeah. So, uh, time has changed. And uh, time has changed, and what uh, uh, we were preparing, and what the, the you know competitive and the the uh, you know tough time these kids are having, it's far far more uh, you know competitive and full of struggle. The only the, the only input I would uh, you know, like to share with other students and other parents: uh, believe in your kids because you know they have got lots of potential. And our uh, Indian, because the, the way uh, Indian training is there and the way they are being trained, it is phenomenal. So only believing in them and then you know, giving them enough uh, uh, opportunity to uh, uh, do whatever they want to pursue, uh, this is what I can uh, uh, you know, suggest. Uh, and don't give too many, too much of pressure to them. So uh, definitely maybe... Uh, uh, one examination is not an indicator how the kid uh, or the child will be performing. It. So yes. if uh, the child is performing uh, well, uh, one uh, examination, maybe she is uh, not able to perform. So in the next examination, uh, if she or he has got the potential, definitely if uh, the plan is good, uh, they will be able to execute and perhaps uh, they will be uh, able to deliver uh, the result, uh, what is uh, expected to them. So. So pressure, I would suggest uh, the, the kids should not be under any pressure while they're preparing for the examination. Thank you very much. That's that's great, sir. And many congratulations to you and the entire family for uh, having two great daughters. Both are doctors, one in uh, Varanasi and she went join uh, INI Institute again. So many congratulations again, Shivangi. And uh, best wishes you, to you. Well, Branchy choose. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And, and, and one, I have got a son. Uh, but uh, yes. he's not interested in medicine. So he, <laughs> he wants to cut his career in engineering. So thank you very so much. So what are you doing? He's, he's doing? He's into what? Uh, he, he has joined a uh, uh, in, okay. uh, in uh, He's done his BTEC course uh, in uh, uh, of Technology. Yes. I was, uh, if I, I, I did my one year of engineering before joining MBBS myself. <laughs> 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 and after that, uh, okay. then, then I went to, I also had the INI, at that time, at my time, there was only AIMS Delhi exam. Uh, yeah. It was a separate yeah. exam. It was not an INI city co collaborate of AV, all the, uh, AIMS only, AIMS Delhi was there. So I yeah. could relate to her, uh, I mean, happiness, what she is having. <laughs> and your, your son is having VTEC, so I just clicked in my mind. <laughs> okay, sir, many congratulations. So thank you very much. Okay, nice talking to you, sir, as well. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir.